Hi, I'm Greg Perkins with Oak Ridge Bellows. This is an edition of the Bellows Bottom Line video. Not to be confused with our articles, the Bellows Bottom Line. You can find those all on our website. Today we're talking, talking about dents and dings and, and scratches and art gouges. Damage that happens to bellows out in the field. Damage that uh, you may either uh, have just had it reported to you what happened or an inspector comes back and he, he takes some pictures and you have meetings and you get all concerned, there are some things to be concerned about and there's some other things that that are okay to let go. You ought to be fine about it. Let's talk about those. Uh, if there are sharp dents, they're going to cause stress risers when the bellows flexes and it's going to eventually lead to a premature crack. Yeah, the bellows is going to fail a lot sooner than you really want it to fail. If it's a shallow dent, we find that those don't really affect the performance enough to, to worry about replacing and just leave them like they are. Art gouges, uh, scratches and strikes. An art gouge, clearly if an art gouge goes all the way through it, you got a whole new set of problems. But an art gouge, if, uh, if it just, you know, leaves a, a BB there, you know, that could be removed. The key is, if you haven't removed more than say about 10, you didn't hear from me, 20% of the material, sand it out, make it smooth. If you've got a scratch and and you can catch your fingernail in it, you'll you'll feel it. It'll it'll catch. That's a scratch. You really don't want it to stay there. So you want to lightly sand that out and uh, enough to take it out, and then you want to blend it in and smooth it out. And again, uh, if it's taking out a lot of material, get yourself a sonic gauge, one of those with the point tips on it, just to make sure that you haven't gone too far. Okay. Now I'm going to make a, um, I had a hammer here, I'm going to make a shallow dent. i got a sharp dent here, mm, I'm not really happy with how shallow that one is. I'm going to do, I'm going to do another one. No, it's not good enough. Okay, that's better. That felt good too. Okay, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to let you have a closer shot of this. I'm going to see if I can get you in a little bit closer. Take a look at that right there. That's, that's what I'm talking about when I say sharp dent. Take a look at those right there. Those are pretty shallow. The shallow ones won't cause you any problem. Now, you shouldn't ever accept a bellows that has this shallow damage from a manufacturer. We wouldn't ship it to you. Nobody else should ship it to you. It's kind of like getting a new car. You, you buy a new car, you don't want to buy it with a dent in there. You don't want to buy an expansion joint that's got a dented up bellows, whatever the excuses are. Uh, they weren't on the drawing, they didn't show the dents in the catalog, don't buy the dents. You don't want it. But, we're talking about if it happens in your house. Uh, bottom line, if it's a sharp dent, you need to do something about it. I wouldn't shut the plant down. I would, at the next available shutdown, I'd go ahead and get one on order and I'd have that thing replaced. If it's a shallow dent, I'd let it stay. If you got scratches on it, you need to take care of those like we described. All right, this is this week's edition of the Bellows Bottom Line video. You can see other videos at www.oakridgebellows.com.